Hey guys, today's topic, I have to give you a trigger warning. Emotions might run high. I don't know how I'm going to say it all out, uh, but I just want to speak. So on January 6th, in the 19 years that I have lived in America, my America, it's been a very sad day for me. Um, and uh, I was watching what was unfolding on, at Capitol Hill along with my 16-year-old and my 12-year-old. It was uh, very difficult uh, to watch. Okay, so as far as uh, what will happen to the people who did what they did at Capitol Hill, uh, there are a lot of questions. Of course, there there is going to be federal prosecution. They will have to pay for their actions because the disgust and the horror and the terror they created uh, in the minds of so many of us who were watching uh, is just not pardonable. Okay, I agree with that. I completely am with you on that. But how will we rehabilitate their minds? What is going to happen? Um, okay, you're going to put them in jail. You're going to put them behind bars. You're going to physically ensure that they receive some kind of punishment. But what about their rehabilitation? What about the rehabilitation of their minds? Um, the part that is most disturbing for me is uh, some of the pictures that I have seen um, are uh, pictures where uh, people are wearing shirts like Camp Auschwitz. Um, there was a shirt uh, that read um, 6MWE. Uh, and uh, those are the ones that were very, very disturbing for me. Um, there are uh, 6 million Jews that were executed by Adolf Hitler. And uh, we are still using those kind of anti Semitic uh, views and actually propagating them through our you know, messaging, our branding, and it's just very difficult for me to understand the psyche of those kind of people. But uh, here are a few things that I want to leave you with. I have those. I have these questions for those people who are wearing these shirts and are propagating these ideas in in our world, where unity is the most important thing right now. Uh, if you remember Anne Frank's diary, if you have read Anne Frank's diary. There is this beautiful quote that she says, there is not even a single moment you have to wait to start improving the world. Uh, I, I want you to think of this. She is the girl who is living under daily terror in Nazi Germany, in Nazi Austria, where there is um, death that is always in the shadows. She is the one who says this. And she always says that I don't think of all the misery but I always think of what the beauty that remains is. Uh, can you imagine a girl who is going through daily horror, speaking those words? Uh, and uh, th there is one more lesson that I learned uh, through the Holocaust, uh, where this gentleman called Viktor Frankl, who actually uh, goes on, uh, he is a Holocaust um, camp survivor, and he goes on to create logotherapy. Logotherapy is... Um, the theory which describes that even in the most difficult of circumstances, man can find meaning in his life. No matter what the circumstances are, life has meaning under all circumstances, even the most miserable ones. Um, it, see, uh, he also says something, salvation of a man is through love and in love. Uh, so I want to talk to directly to all the people who are wearing these shirts and are propagating these ideas. Uh, especially uh, in their march uh, for uh, claiming back uh, whatever belongs to them and all those ideas. Uh, are you propagating hate or brotherhood? I want you to ask yourself. Thank you.